and welcome to my bootleg nail art tutorial. What makes this video bootleg is not that I've stolen any of the items that I'm going to be using today. Uh, I am using the word bootleg in the same context as the iconic drag queen Yuha Hamasaki, uh, which is just to say that this is not an official nail art tutorial. Um, I don't know that I can teach you anything that you don't already know. I don't have any of the professional equipment. I don't have the like knowledge. I don't have the expertise that someone who does this for a living does. However, I have nail polish. I have uh, things around my apartment. I have a tiny paintbrush. I have a bobby pin. I have a looming tax deadline that I'm procrastinating on. And um, determination. This is more of just like a like an artistic journey that we can take together uh, so that I can do something that's not my taxes right now. I spent all morning kind of looking at a lot of different nail art designs and I like picked out some really cool ones and I was like getting them all inspired by all these cool designs um, until I realized that I actually don't have the muscle memory to like paint onto my fingers. Because I would look at all these designs and I would go like Oh yeah, I can do that, that looks cool, um, and I can do that if it's on paper or a canvas or like somebody else's fingernails or on like a sculpture that I'm painting. Um, it is really hard to like paint intricate details on your own fingers when you use your fingers to do it, um, especially with your non-dominant hand. So uh, kudos and props to anyone who's able to do this. I think with the right colors and the right found objects around my home, uh, we can create something that is a beautiful, soft sculpture on my fingers. Okay, so the first thing I've done is I've kind of gathered some colors of nail polish from my vast collection. Um, actually, I don't, I don't need to say that in a self-deprecating way. I'm actually glad because I only have nail polish colors that I use with relative frequency um, and I think Marie Kondo would be proud of me. I wanted to pick a color palette that was bright. Um, so yeah, I think my base, I want it to be either like white or oh, I should probably show this to you up close, huh? Okay, so for my base, um, I'm gonna use this color. It is Hen Party by Butter. Um, you can see that it is this pale yellow color. I really like how bright it is. Um, and another cool thing is that when the light hits it, it has this kind of blue iridescence. This one is another orange color that I have that I really like. It's called Make Mine Mango by Revlon. Uh, this one by Orly. I don't actually think I ever learned how to pronounce it. Um, I just say Orly, but I also in my head like saying, oh really? So this is like a really pretty teal color. It's called Ancient Jade. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do uh, two coats of this color. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm not using a base coat. Um, and that is because I find that whenever I use a base coat, my nails chip a lot more easily or a lot more quickly than when I don't. Um, and I don't know if it's just cause like, I don't have a good base coat and like there might be others that uh, help your nail color last longer. But I feel like anytime I've used a, a base coat, my nails start chipping in like three days. So that's why I'm not using one. Plus, I don't know, is it like bad to not use a base coat? Is it like bad for your nails? I hope not. Um, so because this color is pretty sheer, I'm gonna do two coats of this. Um, I don't expect it to be like obviously completely opaque. Um, that's what I'm gonna layer the other colors with. I have two coats on right now and I trimmed my nails before I started filming this. I figured you would not be interested in that part. And I also realized that like, this shade of the butter nail polish is actually the color of butter. Cause I was looking at it and I was like, oh, it looks like butter colored nails. It's kind of like in a TV show or a movie when they like say the name of the TV show or movie, uh, where it's like, 
I am the last airbender or something. And they're like, oh, that was the name of the thing. That's how I feel wearing this because my nails are better colored with a blue iridescence. Okay, so I had this idea while I was waiting for my nails to dry. Instead of using a tiny paintbrush to do a bunch of shapes, um, what if I cut pieces of tissue paper and like pressed them on to do like a collage type of thing. I feel like I'm gonna need to do some sort of like another coat and then put this on because like if I put it on and then coat it with a clear polish, then it's just gonna get all clumped up. But if the, the base is wet and then I use like a tweezer to place it and then I let it dry, I think that'll work. I think that'll work. Okay, I'm gonna start cutting some shapes. This is really hard to do with um, wet nail polish on your fingers. All right, abstract, I can't do it. You know sometimes you're like starting to do something and then you realize that maybe you should have not been so impulsive with an idea that you had? Uh, that's kind of how I feel right now. I'm not gonna lie, they kind of look like trash, but it's just nail polish. If I really, really, really hate it, I can just take some nail polish remover and paint them one color instead of trying to do a soft, a soft sculpture, oh god. <laughs> um, yeah, these are, this was, um, this was a choice. I feel like I should have cut them in like way smaller pieces. I feel like they'll be easier to trim once they're dry. Or at least I can hope. Wow, so I look like a kindergarten teacher who got some glue on her fingers and fell into the paper scrap bucket, uh, but that's okay. We will make it work. Okay, so these dogs are actually looking pretty freaking cool. As I suspected, if you just pick a good color palette, it doesn't really matter what you do with it. It'll just look cool, even if it's just blobs. I'm really excited about this. This is looking pretty cool. I mean, it still looks bad because there's no top coat. Like, it's very three-dimensional right now. Um, and the... <laughs> The iridescence of the base coat did not matter one bit because the whole thing is basically now covered anyway. But that's okay. We know it's there. This looks like a like a vintage like bus seat, like a like a subway seat, uh, like a like a hotel lobby carpet from long ago. Yeah, I like this. And the cool thing is that these daubs are actually helping to hold down the edges of the tissue paper that were sticking up a little bit. I don't even know how I'm gonna trim the like pieces of tissue paper that are like so teeny tiny next to my cuticle. Oh, I have cuticle trimmers. I will use those. Okay, I'm gonna use some cuticle trimmers to clean around the edges. And then I think I'm ready for a top coat. Yeah, the top coat just like flattens everything out so it doesn't look 
so 3D. I have things sticking out from my nails. It does make the tissue paper uh, more like translucent, which I guess I expected, right? Because it's essentially making it a little bit wet. Um, but that's okay, you can still see the colors and it still looks nice. Before putting on a top coat, it does look kind of layers because some are shiny, some are matte. But then after, it does start to kind of blend together. It does help to go in with tweezers uh, just to push down any of the tissue paper that might be sticking up. Oh my god, look at these nails. Look at these. Oh, no, too far. Oh, god, too far. Okay, here we go. I'm so stoked with how these turned out. I think they look super cool, super cool. Thumbs up for my nails. Honestly, like I had no idea where I would end up when I started recording this video. Um, I just knew that I was procrastinating, so maybe you know what that's like. You're just like, I'm just gonna do a thing and we'll see how it ends up. Cause like I said, I think like when you have colors that work well together, you can just kinda do stuff with them. Ooh, it's still drying. Okay, I'm gonna not do that. I hope that you and your family and your loved ones are all safe and COVID free. I hope that you are staying inside as much as you can, wearing a mask, washing your hands, taking all the necessary precautions for yourself and for your community. Um, I am still kind of grappling with everything, as I'm sure you are also. Um, but if you need a mental break or if you need something to do inside, um, maybe you too can find things around your home and stick them onto your nails and then put a bunch of top coat on it and see what it looks like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. It kind of matches my tights.